All right, gentlemen. Lake Hartwell, right? Once a week, I come to Hartwell. That's the way the channel works. <laughs> um, Hona Path Access. I've never been out here, never used this ramp. I've filmed it, of course. Right? You guys know that if you watch my channel. I have all these ramps on Hartwell film. It's kind of a natural looking ramp. You know, there is concrete, don't get me wrong. It's not a dirt ramp or anything. But compared to some of the bigger ones around here, you know, even the Marianne branches, the 18 miles, this is a pretty small ramp. It, this would be a good one for a casual winter launch. And the reason I chose this one today, I don't need to be back in the creeks, I think. I think the cold front we had, the way the backs are behaving, I think they're gonna be out here on the channel, you know, the main channel. I think they're gonna be hanging out on ledges, you know, brush piles off those offshore ledges, and we're talking like 20 foot of deeper water. So today we're gonna to put the Elite FS7 to use. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna do shallow. I've got some rock crawlers tied on. Uh, they've just been doing nothing but slaying it. I've actually got a new color I wanna to try today as well at some point. So find some riprap or some some structure that's down around that 15, 16 foot range, something I wanna fish, and I know deeper than that. I'll throw that guy out there and pull him back. It's not the MD55 today, it's just the 55. Um, I've got a spinner tied on. I've actually got an underspin tied on right now too, but that was really just a mess with the rod. I'll probably take him off and put like a Ned rig or something on, something else to get to the bottom. Uh, I replaced all my lines. I'm not running any braid right now. It's mono or fluoro. Uh, and mostly fluoro right now, just for the, the visibility factor. I drove by yesterday just to kind of scout it because I was headed somewhere. This water looked pretty clear, and by the looks of it, when I got in, I made the right choice. So we're rocking full on fluorocarbon today in 12 and 15 pound increments, and the go today is in the, to end the search for four. Everybody's telling me bass, fish, bass fishing has been finicky out here. Uh, my last trip out here was pretty fire. <laughs> um, I don't know, man, I'm ready to fish. I'm gonna shut up, it's a long intro, sorry guys. Let's do it guys, I'm ready to fish. Let's, let's shut down this light, the cockpit light, the, this light. Let's go catch some fish, right? Decent one to start the day, not a monster, but we're gonna take him. All right, there we go, guys. Oh, he's cold. <laughs> All right, he's got a little chill on him. We're gonna get him back out there. We caught him in about eight foot of water, so let's put him back in. Let's hunt out that range and maybe a little bit deeper, right. <laughs> I was just pulling it in. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right. Winter jig bass. Oh, he is frigid. Oh, he is frigid, guys. He is so cold. So little. Look at those pale colors. Those winter bass compared to the summer, fall, and spring, they just, they don't have their color. Come here, come here, buddy. I'm not gonna hold them long this winter. They seem to really wanna get back in that water. All right, let's talk about that catch, guys. It was on this, I think it's an L&M one ounce jig just in green pumpkin. And I just got it paired up with this watermelon red rage tail. One ounce, big football head, 15 pound fluorocarbon line, like I told you, I switched everything out. So uh, this clear water in the winter i would be able to maybe trick a few more bass that weren't quite so finicky that's very transparent 
and what we're targeting here, I hope you can see that pretty well. Right? I'll zoom it in when I can, or I may have to do it on Navionics. But I went down through there and scanned all these rocks. And some of them are logs, right? I was kind of sloppy. I was just bang, 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 hitting out waypoints real fast, scanning over. And come back and clean if I want to, but this is fine for me. I was coming out to about the 40 foot range and my exact location for him was right in the heart of this rock pile. And I had just cast over to about this point here, over to the side of that point, that underwater flat you see right there, that's a point coming out there, guys. So I'd cast over there and then drag back, drag back, drag back. As I got right up by the boat, I started to do the pull up retrieve and I guess I went right in front of him, felt the pull down and that was the bite. I gotta tell you, I love the offshore bites. Those are, those are a little different than the bank. The bank is fun too. Don't hear me. Don't get me wrong. But an offshore bite, there's something about being in the middle of nowhere and finding that fish, right? on the day right so not bad but it's been a grind okay this one's super easy rip wrap rock crawler rip wrap rock crawler it's that easy you see rip wrap you go down the side he grabbed it in about he was inward about another three feet from where he was about eight foot of water too the same as the morning bass on the rock crawler so we need to make sure we're getting him down about that eight range Let's see if we can get him one more we get him one more we got a decent video Best one of the day too, baby. I had a good feeling about this area. Good, good feeling. All right. I mean, he's, he's still not a monster. Uh, man, getting four makes me happy on a day. You gotta start bleeding pretty bad once I get that up. Come on, man. All right. No, he's not. All right. Oh, he's a nice thick guy. You know, he's not overly long. I don't know. What do you guys think he is? We're going to take a, a quick measure. Not tournament accurate. Yeah, bro. I'll take a 15 and 3 quarter winter bass. Uh, hoping for better. You know, hoping for four. But we'll take these healthy guys when we can get them, right? So, we are shot. Let him drop. Again with a rock crawler. Uh, it's shallow. There's a bunch of little rocks around here. There's no way I'm not throwing a crankbait over here based on how it's behaved so far this winter up to this point. This is the money, man. I don't know if I'm going to take him off. I'm going to keep him tied on. I have used him less than any other lure today, and he has caught three of the four fish. Same way the last two weeks when I've gone out. I use him less than the others. I'm working on the others. I'm getting better with things. I'm trying to figure them out. Drop shots, A-rigs, you know, things I don't use a lot. Jigs, I've definitely got better with. But this, he's just gonna have to stay on through the winter. Be 
be a good one. Ah, baby! Oh my god. Is he? <sighs> Three pounds even, gentlemen. That's one of those fish with that spine disease. He's made a good life despite that. That's a three pound fish with that back disease. So let's put him back in here. That was nice. That ledge came out a little bit. So what I wanted to do was shift out with it, stay in about that 20 range, and guys, wouldn't you know it, eight to 10 foot water. Again, that's where I'm finding them at. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep searching around. Let's do it. Having a day in the winter. Having a day in the winter. I like it. All right. Having us a day in the winter. Fat guys filling up, man. Everybody's hungry out here, right? Everybody's trying to eat, so. He wants to put food in that. <laughs> Another good one, guys. This is nice. This is nice. You know what I really like? Like the last three bass I've called where they're going to be at. Like I've looked at the sonar and I've said, hey, there's a good chance of bass is right there. Just based on what I've seen and what I've learned. And this is going to be a really good year. We're gonna do a lot of really fun stuff. Um, I'm so thankful and excited that you guys stuck with me this long to, to see us get here. Um, so my goals for the year, I wanna break my personal best by bass twice. Um, I can do that, I almost did it today, right? I was 0.7 ounces away from time. I could have easily beat it today. Uh, I might still, I'm still working back to the bank, right? And I've caught three fish on this stretch. I'm gonna keep hitting this damn stretch. Break my personal best bass twice. I'm gonna lose 30 more pounds. That's a big deal. I'm kind of kind of stuck where I'm at right now. And that's fine. When the weather warms up and I'm sweating more and it's just a little bit more exerting, I'll lose some more weight. And as long as I maintain, that's my goal really. Maintain and lose when the summer comes. Because uh, you gotta be able to maintain when, when you're off your diet, right? When you're not actively saying, hey, I need to lose weight. You need to be able to say, I need to maintain that. I am joining a club. So to say, there's no membership fee or nothing like that, but uh, I thought about it a few. The one I really wanted to, to stay a part of, you know, they kind of went defunct, and it's fine. They seem kind of dysfunctional anyway. You know, no harm, no foul. It was fun to play while, while they were there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the Upstate Kayak Anglers. They are a small club. They are a three fish limit, and we're talking eight inch limit. So if you guys are in the area and you want to come out, but you're not sure you can, um, they'll gladly take you. They seem super nice. I did one with them last year. It was on Broadway. It's the one where I only caught two and didn't even turn them in. I just went home. I was so disappointed in myself because that's one of my home lakes. Uh, it's within a stone's throw of me, but it can be an unforgiving lake, right? You either feast or famine on Broadway. But I'm going to do, I think, all their tournaments. So we're going to have like almost a dozen tournaments this year. And I think I might do one with QCKBF when they do Hartwell, but we'll, we'll see. I might not. 
Um, I might just stick to what I'm doing and see where it takes me. It's going to take me to a lot of small lakes, so I can't do it all the time, but I definitely got to stay on Hartwell, my bigger ones. All right, and going number four. It's just to visit four new bodies of water this year. It's honestly, dude, it's kind of a slam dunk. I mean, if I go through all the upstate kayak angler tournaments, most of their lakes I haven't been to. Uh, Bullock, Cooley. I've been to Robinson once, I think. I think. I, no, I haven't been to Robinson. So, Bullock, Cooley, Robinson, Wiley, those type of lakes I typically don't mess with. They're going to Secession. I might sit out Secession. Secession can kiss mine. But I'm going to try and catch one more. If I do, great. You know, you'll see it after this. Uh, if And there'll be in it an, an outro. But if not, all I can say is go Vols. We beat Clemson yesterday in the Orange Bowl. Let's, let's see if we can find another fish or two.